Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Target exclusive, Sam Wilson, Captain America. Technically a tie-in to Captain America 4, but since the movie got pushed back, this, you know, is still coming out right now because they can't really push back some of those exclusives, I don't think. But, hey, I'm happy that we finally have a Sam Wilson, Captain America, updated at least, to a degree, because unfortunately this figure is just a complete re-release of the... One that came out in, what, like 2014? But, you know, with some added bells and whistles here. Namely, the new shield, which is making this figure more of a modern update for what he looks like now, because this is what his shield looks like now in the comics. And I, I love his new shield. I think his shield looks great. I like that it's it's separate. You know, it sets it apart from Steve. Same with, like, his costume and everything. But he also comes with the, you know, pair of wings, which he, we did not get on that original release as well. And then, unfortunately, the only thing that takes this figure down a peg, other than the fact that they reuse the old body, and we'll get more into that, is the fact they didn't give him the goatee. He has a goatee now because of Anthony Mackie having one, and, you know, them bringing things from the MCU into the comics to get more people, you know, that are casual fans to pick up a comic and go, oh, hey, you know, this looks just like Anthony Mackie, so I'm gonna, you know, read these Captain America issues, and... They didn't include that on this. I don't know why. I feel like it would have been really easy for them to just basically add a square, add a literal, you know, just black square. Because, like, he has a very thin goatee, so all you had to do is just add a black square to his lower face, and then, boom, there you go. It's updated. And I don't know why they didn't do that. I'm going to end up painting it, you know, probably the moment that I hit end on the record here. That's just something unfortunate that I wish they would have done. I also wish they would have updated the body in some way, and actually more than a few ways, and we'll get into that. But first, let's take a look at what Sam comes with. Other than what's currently on him, we do get these alternate hands, and these are reuse from the Ultimate Captain America. They don't actually even look like the gloves that are on Sam currently, because the ones that are on him are the ones that came with him back in the day, and now I'm throwing things. But, yeah, I mean, they're just... It's the back and forth hinge hand and then the splayed out hand, which, you know, these are good for having shield throwing hands and whatnot, but why, why? I don't, <laughs> this entire figure I'm pretty sure is reuse outside of the wing pack, which we'll take a look at that now. The wing pack itself looks really good. It's got the silver and the blue and the reds all throughout. It looks really good. It's got a hexagonal peg here, which is good. So that way it doesn't start moving around when you plug it into the back. His wings are articulated. They can go up that far which is pretty good and then down that far as so you can see you know all the kind of stuff you can get out of them which is pretty good and then it also has these hinges here which you can't go back because it will pop off but going forward you can actually get them to kind of come across like that which is pretty good and then the wings look pretty good as well they got a lot of detail going on in them i'm pretty sure that these aren't reuse they could be but as far as i know they're not or at the very least they're not from figures that i have currently so and then, like I said, the shield is reused as well. I did take the clip off there because it was that stupid-ass clip that they've been using forever. Um, and I put some straps on here. That way he could actually have a proper shield. So, yeah. But before that, it could plug into his back, which is pretty cool that you could do that. But I personally just, I like them to hold it and I like it to be straps because I just think it looks better. But I love the way the shield looks. It's printed beautifully. The size of it's pretty good, I feel like. I do love Sam's new shield deco for his his individual shield because like here if i bring in the ultimate captain america this is the shield that came with bucky but you know you can see the key differences in there and all that stuff i really love sam's star and the fact that it's like the wings inside the star i think that's pretty cool but i love the way these two look together and taking the shield off this is literally just the exact same figure that came out in 2014 so like let's just and I keep saying 2014, hoping that that's correct. It might not be, but I'm just going to keep saying it, and I'm just going to say it with my chest. It's not a bad figure. It's it's really not. I've I've enjoyed the, you know, little bit of time that I've had with it before filming this review. I just, I really wish that they would have given him an updated body. Like, I wish they would have made him a brand new sculpt. I get why they didn't, because they made this individual sculpt for Sam, and then they only used it the one time, and it doesn't have really any sort of reuse capabilities. But... I don't know, I just, I would have loved an updated body because I feel like Sam deserves that. You know what I mean? Like, we've gotten a bunch of different Captain Americas. It took us forever to get a good Steve Rogers Captain America, in my opinion, anyway. And we've only gotten two of Sam, and it's been these two versions with the same body. And I just feel like he could have, you know, they could have given us 
something updated for him because he's Captain America. You know, he's like a cornerstone of Marvel. And I don't know. It just kind of feels like they're giving Sam the shaft by just not giving him an updated figure. I don't know. I don't, it doesn't sit right with me. I don't like that. I wish that they would have given him something new because they gave Bucky, you know, a new body. They gave Steve a new body. Why can't Sam have a new body? I would have loved that. Like even, even if they would have just reused the, uh, like the thighs, the boots, the hands, you know, everything like that, the torso, the head sculpt, even give us the pinless limbs just to, you know, make it a little bit more new and all that stuff. Cause I would have loved butterfly joints, but I also understand why they probably wouldn't have given us butterfly joints because of the peg on the back and everything like that. But I don't know. I just, I feel like Sam kind of got the shaft here and I would have loved to have seen an updated body for him. I think that would have been cool. And I know that I'm being kind of overly negative about it, but I do love the figure. I think that's a great figure. It's my first soiree into this body because I, I unfortunately never got the original one, but I'm, and I'm very happy to have this. I just kind of wish that they would have done a little more for him. You know, I feel like he deserved a little bit more. And the deco on this is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. There's no paint slop or anything for the star or the, the wings and all that looks great. There's no real bleeding throughout the paint whatsoever other than the, I think the back right here, there might be a little bit white bleeding through unless that's my light. But he's got his belt right here, which looks really good. The knee pads, his gloves, boots, all that good stuff. Everything looks really good on this figure. You know, it's, it's definitely an updated paint job for sure. There is no real distinguishing factor between this one and the old one because you didn't really have to do photo reel for the original Sam and you didn't have to do it here because he has the the goggles and you don't have to I mean I would have loved like I said that for them to have printed on the the goatee I think that would have elevated the figure for sure and made him even more modern than the original release was and then taking a look at his articulation his head can go up that far which is really good so you can get him into some good flying poses here get all the way down same thing no real tilt or anything a little bit but not not a lot not really any honestly his head can turn you know all that good stuff his shoulders go out about that far they rotate all the way around he has a bicep swivel which is a little tight on mine he's got double jointed elbows that unfortunately only go up that far they really only go up a tiny bit past 90 that's also why i wish we would have gotten an updated body for him or at least updated arms because that's just i don't know it's like you can you know you can make do with it but it would have been cool for him to have double, you know, like actual double jointed elbows instead of kind of simulated double jointed elbows, if that makes sense. As for his torso, it can go that far forward, that far back. He has a waist swivel. His legs go out that far. That's another reason I wish we got an updated body because they do not go out that far at all. His legs go up and back that far. He has a thigh swivel, double jointed knees that go back pretty far, not bad. He has a boot swivel. He has his feet can go back that far, can go up, not too far, which that's not great, but you can kind of force it a little bit past it. Just a little bit though, not too much. And then of course, angle pivot. And now onto some size comparisons. Here he is next to my custom Steve and custom Bucky. And these look great together. I, I love how they look. I Like I said, I wish that they would have updated Sam because I feel like he, you know, obviously I made my Bucky a little bit smaller because I used some G.I. Joe parts, but I don't know. I just... I really wish that they would have updated Sam in some way because he really, he deserved a, he deserved a 10 out of 10 figure. And this is at best a seven, you know, I think it could have been better. Um, but I think they phoned it in a little bit in my opinion. And then here he is next to the extremist Iron Man and then the Renew Your Vows Spidey. And this definitely for me solidifies that they should have made a new one because he's shorter than Peter. And that is just unacceptable you know that is it's just unacceptable because as we've seen over time the legends have gotten a little bit bigger and so the older figures they are a little bit smaller and this is no exception to that unfortunately but who knows maybe you know maybe i'll make a custom we'll see i'll futz around with it for sure maybe i'll give him the ultimate captain america boots or something like that if that's possible and maybe it'll lift him up a little bit we'll see i pretty much gave my overall thoughts but overall you know, I did, you know, talk a lot of crap throughout this video, and I, I, you know, I do think they could have done better, but I do like it for what it is, and I did get it on the current sale price that they have going on right now, where it was like 24 bucks or something like that, so, you know, the pretty much the price that we're used to for a normal figure, but he's definitely not worth the deluxe price. He's definitely not worth that, like, 30 to 40, whatever 
it is currently or what you know it's supposed to be for the deluxe prices it's definitely not worth that in my opinion um and de and i would say wait for a another sale because it's the wings are great i love the wings the shield's great both of those are solid the figure is good but it could have been so much better and so much more and I just, I'm a huge Captain America fan, you know? I, I love I love me some Cap, I love me some Steve, Bucky, Sam. I love all three of them as Captain America and, you know, just as themselves in individual character form. And I think that he deserved, he deserved better. But I could be biased because I love, I love me some Cap. So, I don't know. I just, I love this figure and I'm very excited to have it, but I think they could have done better for an updated Sam and you know maybe we'll get an updated Sam in the next couple years or something like that but we waited so long for a second version of him that it would have just been good for them to completely redo the figure or at least redo the limbs to make him fit in with the current legends so yeah that's gonna do it for me and I will catch you all in the next one see you